Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is hopefully going to be the last skull video <laughs> and then we can move on. Um, last time I saw you guys, I felt like the Bowser head looked too generic, kind of like just any um, horned animal. So I used the dry bones, oh sorry, dry Bowser design um, just to see what I can do to switch it up a little bit. And this is how it turned out. I added like that tip of the nose here. Um, cut out the nares, cut out the eye sockets, shed down the horns. I felt like the horns were a little too long last time. Um, and I added the prominent um, joint sockets that he's got. So, But what I'm mostly excited about today is adding the details on this thing. And I'm going to be doing that by using foam clay. I've never used foam clay ever. So how this works apparently is that it's malleable like a clay um, and you let it cure for like 48 hours and apparently once it dries it feels like foam and it's as light as foam too and the greatest asset for this is if you're trying to go for like complex shapes or um, a certain type of texture this is something that's easy to work with um, and I can tell already it'll be easier to make details with this than something like Warbler for example so Let's see how it turns out. Whoa! Eddie Brock is you, and I'm the suit, so call me. just trying to test the foam clay as a gap filler. I won't really know if it's a good one up until it cures, but I think so far I like working with it. Um, the only issue with I have is just how stringy it is. It's kind of like, it's like cheese. And it kind of just gets everywhere. And I also feel like like I can't take my time with it. I'm pretty sure the more I use foam clay, I'll get used to it um, and have a better understanding of how much time I really have. Um, but for the most part, I feel like I'm really rushing it, <laughs> trying to make sure that um, it doesn't cure on the way of me working with it and trying to smooth it down. As you can probably see here, like on this side, you could kind of see where I added more um, clay versus this side here. I kept working on it while it was still pretty wet, if you will, and it seems a lot more seamless. But you know what? It's a skull, so I think the uneven textures are looking pretty good anyways. <laughs> finally did it so uh, I have it prompt up on this floor lamp because whenever I place it on the table the foam for the teeth kind of get mushed up and I, I keep trying to fix it I don't know if you can see but it's it's like developing these ridges here because I keep trying to fix them but as it cures so I think I'm just gonna leave it for now and maybe sand them down um, as I'd like them to be 
but yeah, this is it. I hope you guys like it.